Today on the net, activists protest against child marriage in Nigeria. An online campaign to fund Edward Snowden's trip to Venezuela. And a Tumblr blog featuring strange half-human, half-animal creations. These Nigerians gathered in Lagos this weekend are chanting child, not bride. Protests like this one against child marriage have been ongoing for several days now. They were prompted by last week's Senate decision to retain a portion of the constitution that provides for renouncing Nigerian citizenship and defines full age as anyone over the age of 18 and any woman who is married, regardless of her age. Activists are saying the resolution legalizes child marriage and have launched an online campaign called Child Not Bride. The movement has been widely shared on social networks, with many web users accusing their politicians of, quite simply, legalizing paedophilia. Their anger is directed at the lawmakers and Senator Ahmed Sani Yurima in particular, who sparked an outcry back in 2010 when he married a 13-year-old Egyptian girl. An act prohibiting child marriage was adopted by the federal government back in 2003. But as the United Nations Population Fund points out, not all state governments are following suit, particularly in the north of the country where Sharia law is in force. This e-petition describes it as a legal grey area and is calling for a law defining the minimum age for marriage to be established across the country. The document has already been signed by over 24,000 web users. An online campaign to fund Edward Snowden's trip from Moscow to Venezuela should the now famous whistleblower accept the offer of asylum from Caracas. Christian Honey, a neuroscientist at Oxford University, has set up the fundraising campaign called Fly Edward Snowden Fly on crowdfunding site Indiegogo to help the former NSA consultant. The aim is to raise $200,000. The huge sum, which as the instigator of the project explains on the fundraising webpage, will pay for a private jet to take Snowden from the Russian capital to that of Venezuela or to any other destination of his choice, providing it doesn't violate bans from the US and certain European countries of Snowden entering their airspace. The flight, if it happens, will be very long with no stopovers and will therefore cost a lot of money but it's proving difficult to get web users on board. Just $5,000 has been raised so far, a paltry sum compared to what campaigners are aiming for, and they have just one more week to try and reach their target. Activists in Canada have been posting under the hashtag Honour the Apology, calling on the government to release all relevant official documents relating to the medical experiments carried out by the government on thousands of unsuspecting Aboriginal children in Indian residential schools in Canada in the 1940s and 50s. Web users are saying that the apology issued by Prime Minister Stephen Harper in 2008 isn't enough, that there's been no consequent meaningful action, and it's high time to shed proper light on this affair, a very sorry time in Canada's history. A bat, a dachshund, or even a giraffe saddled with a human head. This is what you'll find on the Desk Safari Tumblr blog, which is full of wacky creations depicting these half-human, half-animal species. And will no doubt add a bit of fun to your day if you're stuck in the office whilst everyone else is away on their summer holiday. Some 7,000 people gathered in New York City this weekend to take part in the 10th MP3 experiment, organized by the Improv Everywhere team. The participants were all wearing headphones and had downloaded an MP3 file, giving them ridiculous instructions on what to do. And as you can see, their unexpected synchronized actions took passers-by and tourists completely by surprise and provided much amusement.